archaeologists are nearly certain that they found the remains of a new species of human being called Homo lunzanensis after the island of Luzon in the Philippines. This isn't your average archaeological find, and it may even be a more important discovery than the imaging of a black hole just because of what it says directly about us and our place in things. If it wasn't already known, it should be understood that we, Homo sapiens, are not nearly as special as we might think we are because we are not the only humans to have lived on this planet. I put a link to a thorough article on this topic in the description below if you want to read more about it, but the main takeaway is that we once shared this planet with several other species of human beings other than the one we all know, Neanderthals or Neanderthals. Some look very similar to us and some look very different, but they all seem to possess the same cognitive capabilities that we do, roughly, anyway. If this is a revelation to you, if you thought we were placed here by God and this planet is our birthright, you may be surprised to learn that we may only exist because we were better at group assaults and murder than other humans, not because we're precious or superior in some way. If you're wondering what to take away from this discovery or what use there is in this information, you may or may not be surprised to hear me say humility, perspective, appreciation, and concern. If you were unfamiliar with the fact that we shared this planet with several other peoples until about 20 or 30,000 years ago, this should be humbling. We aren't taught these things in school and they aren't really popular topics of conversation, but knowing that we, Homo sapiens, aren't the handpicked rulers of this planet should alter our default view of this world. You know, the one where we think everything on this planet is here for us to use and abuse however we see fit. When we think of modern humans as being essentially unlike anything else that's ever existed on this earth, we be thinking too highly of ourselves. We are one of many things like us, even though we are the only ones left. If our ego or worldview makes us want to reject this, we just have to think about what we know about life now. Two distinct species can't breed with each other, but we know that we did with Neanderthals, and we most likely made it with, or probably raped, other humans. If we weren't almost exactly the same thing, this wouldn't be possible. Knowing this chagrin is perspective on the whole game, we should see our place as a member of life on this planet and not its ruler. We're fundamentally no different than the rest of the planet's living things, except in our ability to collaborate and our capacity for construction and destruction. We should understand and be appreciative of this ability to work together, to build, to destroy, because it's likely the only reason we're still here. It's likely the reason this planet isn't populated with multiple hominids or capped by a different one. Some of the best minds in the soft sciences believe it was our propensity for orchestrated violence that allowed us to wipe out larger, tougher, and maybe even more intelligent people. I'll add to that list our talent for finding and creating threats, even where there may be none. We should be concerned by the fact that other actual people walk this world along with us, and now they don't. They weren't all in bad climates or maladapted to their circumstances. It was a man-made extinction, and here's why this is really concerning. The same drives and instincts that likely caused us to exterminate other people are still in us. We're more than capable of turning that energy on ourselves if we can find enough distinction between members of our own species, and we do so daily. The concern I have is with our developing capabilities. They may allow us to create new categories of human one day. Genetically enhanced, chemically enhanced, technologically enhanced, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we can see a line, and we'll begin to cut and divide along that line. We divide and separate already with superficial variations in humanity, and no matter what anyone says, the differences between people and races are really minuscule. Most of our genetic variation is in the somatic cells, or the cells that code for physical features. I point this out really to only illustrate the fact that we're dividing humanity along psychological lines. We're almost entirely physically and genetically indistinct, and we're separating ourselves right now, so I'm sure if we can draw a hard line, something quantifiable, we'll do so more vigorously and maybe even more violently. That is the concern. But let me know what you think. How does this discovery strike you? Were you already aware of other people that used to walk this earth? Should we be concerned or just appreciative of our existence and perspective granted by such finds? Let me know. Thanks for watching.